speaking. A lot of the misunderstandings come from semantic misunderstandings. For instance, a word or a phrase being interpreted or misinterpreted or reinterpreted in a number of different ways. Uh, so, defining terms obviously becomes an important part of the whole exercise and hence the need for clarification videos. You're on YouTube right now. Okay, there's a certain percentage which will be a clarification video out of everybody's channels and everybody's like eruditions or whatever you want to call them. And so, when someone says, <laughs> so you believe in magic, do you? I have to pause because the longer you spend on YouTube, the more you are exposed to the fascinating ability of uh, individuals to use misrepresentations of arguments, words, thoughts and feelings and the individuals who elaborate upon those misinterpretations end up driving a certain group of people um, to a particular level of understanding, misunderstanding or re-understanding of that one particular subject. Uh, they can then become uh, almost like a, a clique of people who will then criticize you or criticize your argument, but only on the basis of parroting back or reiteration of another point of view that someone else has, in fact, put inside their own minds. I apologize for going into this in a bit of a detailed manner, but I think it needs to be elaborated upon. As a result of the reinterpretation and misinterpretation, we end up with political conflicts on YouTube. All right? That's essentially what it amounts to. The word politics in this particular case meaning the sphere of human activity whereby individuals and groups attempt to resolve their differences. So if you hear someone use the word politics, it doesn't just mean liberals, conservatives, socialists or republicans, democrats and all that kind of stuff. The word politics is in fact slightly more complex and nuanced than that. So, again, with the phrase, I believe in magic, what, in the name of all that's holy, am I talking about? On the strength of the phrase itself, you would not actually be able to divine an answer. However, and this is where things get difficult, there will be individuals or groups of people out there who will have jumped to the conclusion that they already understand what the phrase means. This is due, due to their perception of the words and the meaning of the words, possibly based upon certain forms of literature which they have been following at some times in their life, and or certain videos that they have been watching and or blogs that they have been reading. Possibly also their feeling of affiliation to certain forms of religious groups which are out there, whether these be new religious groups or in fact old and traditional religious groups. Okay? The term, I believe in magic, can also be reinterpreted in terms of something of a tremendously positive nature or indeed something of a terribly negative nature, which is of course me trying to express this in terms of a black and white dichotomy because it makes the explanation a little bit easier. However, in reality, there is no such thing as a complete and utter black and white here, okay? There's various shades of grey in between and probably all kinds of other colours in the spectrum and dimensions in the universe and so on and so forth associated with the phrase and how good and or bad it can be. So, shall we try and break this down? This wonderful, amazing phrase, I believe in magic, okay? It starts with a perpendicular pronoun, I, obviously referring to myself. In this particular case, if I am the individual who is uttering the aforementioned phrase, and in fact I am referring to myself, and not just making a statement which is repeating what somebody else had said about what they thought. So, but in this particular case, perpendicular pronoun does in fact relate to myself. So, that is I, that is me, okay? I. Second word, believe. This is where things get a bit more complex. Because the word belief has 
too many different meanings to be clearly and eloquently expressed in a precise manner that every single viewer of this particular video, or indeed of any other video in which the word belief is actually used, could in fact get a complete and thorough understanding of what the person who is using the, the word belief is referring to. Okay? We'll come back to that. And then of course says like the third subject, you know, the in magic bit. The word magic itself also has um, a whole spectrum of meanings. Anything from theatrical stage man magic to various religious interpretations to what the word magic is, on to uh, a interpretation of just trying to treat life in a practical, scientific and creative way. So, for anybody to accuse me of doing something or saying something or thinking something which is inappropriate on the strength of me using the phrase I believe in magic is deluding themselves because they have jumped to a conclusion all right on the basis of what the second idea the, the first idea is the perpendicular pronoun being myself I okay the second idea is the word believe and what that precisely refers to and of course the third idea is in magic okay so, if you think you've come to a full understanding as to what this phrase means, that is delusionment. If you accept your interpretation of what that particular phrase means, that itself is a variety of belief and is therefore a faith-based position. So, for those who are on the more atheistic side, and you have jumped to a conclusion as to what I mean by the phrase, I believe in magic, you have developed a faith-based position position, which your fellow atheists might not necessarily appreciate, but that's another issue, of course, entirely. And for those of you who are part of the New Age or Occult world, you may think, ah, yes, well, he's one of us. So, therefore, we are on his side, and, you know, therefore, you know, he's saying something which is tremendously good. But you don't know that, because I could be playing a joke on you. I could be. Or alternatively, I could be t t uh, communicating about this in a different context. So, when I say, I believe in magic, you can't say that you understand what I'm talking about. You cannot say that I am in agreement with you. You cannot even say that I am something which is egregious or inappropriate or wrong or difficult or sick or twisted or disgusting because I have different beliefs or ideas than yourself. Because you won't be able to tell what I mean by the phrase. And then you may even be thinking to yourself, why on earth has Nick done this incredibly confusing video? Is he doing it deliberately to confuse me? No, I'm not doing it deliberately to confuse you. I'm doing it to make sure that it's more likely that you get a better understanding of the use of words and the way in which words are used so that when you are watching any other videos by any other occultist, new age, or pagan, witch, or whatever, you'll be able to deploy the brain when dealing with... Uh, relevant subjects. Just to make things even worse, I believe in magic. <laughs>